Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. You're watching me, Robobin, play, and we have a battle that we gotta get to. I was trying to figure out a way to build my base up a bit, but I think we'll talk to Rolo first. By my knobbly knees, Robo, I have terrible news. It seems the monsters plan to attack us again, and it's in greater force than ever. We do have the stone stockade on our side and stronger weapons than ever before, but still, we must not let our guard down. Be sure all your weapons, be sure all your weapons and undergarments are close at hand and be ready to face the enemy down. So Robo, are you prepared for battle? Yeah, hopefully. Let's use this uh, equipment. I don't think we ever equipped it. Because this is 11 to 16. We will remove. And we will equip this. And we'll remove this. And let's, uh, let's battle. Come on, you guys. Fail on these things. This guy's getting through. Come on, this way. Some brownies appear. All right. Oh, you guys did it already. Wow. This is such an epic battle, I tell ya. Not really. <laughs> the next guy should be a big one, though. Oh, never mind. I don't think I... Where? 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 They should be here. I feel like... Oopsies, I don't want to do that. We'll take this fur. Oh, I knew you'd come in. I forgot to put stone there. That was my bad. Uh oh, this guy's a biggie. He should, we should. Oh yeah, <laughs> the stone stockade got him. That was a lot of me running back and forth, being scared. We did it! Yay! There should be someone else coming too. No, maybe not. All right, let's talk with Rolo. Buy my elegant eyelashes, Robo. My girl, you found another teleportal. A fortun fortunate find indeed. I was just talking to our new friend Sheridan, you see. He told me where we might find the legendary blacksmith I mentioned earlier, or rather, that blacksmith's descendant. And it seems the island where this man was last seen is on the other side of that very teleportal. If you could persuade that smith to join our town, there's no end to that mighty arms and armors we could build. Now, be sure that the new teleportal is firmly in place, Robo, and go and track down that man. Alright, this guy. <laughs> this is the one that suddenly came that... Rolla was just talking about. Phew! I finally made it. I found the source of the light. Look at these beautiful buildings. Oh yeah, they're fantastic, bricky things. Um, I'd heard the rumors, but I never imagined it'd be anything like this. Hold on, you didn't build this whole town yourself, did you? But but that would mean you must be her, the builder. Great goddess above, this is incredible. I can't believe I'm meeting the real live builder in the real live flesh. So, you're rebuilding the ruins of Cantlin, are you? The city was once watched over by the giant golem. My name's Sheridan, by the way. I was traveling the world for a long, long time before I finally found my way to this place. I know I don't have much to offer, but I would gladly tell you of the lands I've seen on my way here. I can't say how much uh, use you could make of the information like that, but I'm happy to tell you all I know. If it's all right with you, I'll settle my in straight away. I uh, will put the other teleportal down too. Do I want to put it maybe over here? Uh, 
Oh, dang it. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. We will put, uh... Nah, we'll put it here. We'll put this one here. Yes, yes, no need to applaud me. All right, we will start building around it. I just realized, don't do, don't, get off of there. No. Away with you. Um, I need to take this thing and this thing and we'll put them for one further back. Oh, nobody cares that I replace them, hmm? Hmm? Do at some point build a uh, thing there. I don't know what to do with this place. I think we'll just delete it for now. Delete it. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I gotta remember. I gotta remember that I gotta make some stone fortifications for this place. That will not do for next time, that's for sure. Let's build some stone cadden. Awesome. There's no reason he should have broken through there. I was just being a doofus. this place look pretty. And for cheaper than otherwise. This should give us... Do I have any... Of course not. Oh well. I don't have to worry about it right now. Uh... Let's go through. I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah. So, we are currently looking for the blacksmith, and there is a quest marker on our thing, so we'll grab that. Oh, I could have opened that without doing that the hard way. Okay, that's our way back. What? Oh, it's a slime. Couldn't figure out what that was. Oh, we need some of these. But we don't need them this way. We also need the tops, but... I think we need a shovel for that. All right. Let's do this. You are stronger than the other guy. Alright, awesome. And we can make some meat off of these guys. Let's use my thingy. Whoops. No, not all of you. Oh my gosh, everyone. Ooh, medicinal leaf. Nice. We got a better healing item now. Fruit salad, that's what we needed. Sorry, guys. Yeah. 
first chunk of meat. Bunnicorn steak. <laughs> Glass. Sorry, buddy corn. Okay, okay. Aw, oh, you. Go away. Nobody wants you. Oh, this copper sword is way better than the other one. Of course, I'm still... Still eating up the... Um, damage like a goof. I love their little animations. Set of chains, wow. Okay, let's head in the direction of this quest. Find ourselves the blacksmith that we need. Is that? Oh, it's a golem. Wah! Wah! Go away. Oh, sh does that one have a different colored hat? Looks like it. Must mean one's more powerful than the other. Alright, what is this guy saying? There is a guy here. Hey you, you're that robo girl Clavarina was talking about. I really hate, hate, hate you humans, but Clavarina told us we have to help you. And sh what she says goes, I'll give you the lowdown on the local area, but nothing more. This place is called the Damdara Desert. There's nothing been, there's never been anything here for as long as anyone remembers. Well, I say there's nothing here, but there's still all sorts of materials you won't find near Hammerton Heights. If you're into that sort of thing, you should take a look, look, look around. Oh, we will indeedly. I want this well as well. No, actually, I'll leave it for now. That big golem is definitely still around. I can see his eyes. We'll deal with him later. Not right now. Oh, it looks like a big bunny corn. Oh, what's that? Iron. Nice. We'll totally take some of that. Ugh. Go away. Oh my gosh, there's more iron. I do know that we need it later. Alright, that should be good. Oop, never mind. Alright, come on, we gotta go find that guy. No more of this iron. Oh my god, there's so much. We can still. I think we can. We've got a sword. We need to come over here to this guy. Making sure there's not too many crazy enemies around. Over here! Pippa, what are you doing here? 
Oh, hello, Robo. What are you doing here? I was just asking you the same question. Ah, so Rolo sent you here to look for the blacksmith, did he? And you came running straight away, I suppose. Honestly, that weirdly, weirdy beardies got you working like his own personal dog's bo body. Hmm? You want to know what I'm doing here? <laughs> well, hey, Robo. Why don't you leave that lazy old geezer behind and run away with me? The truth is, everyone back in Cantlin really gets on my nerves, and I just can't take it anymore. Come on, Robo, run away with me. Let's start a new life together, just the two of us. In hell! No! Oops! We will not ever go with you! Pippa look alike, even though you are cute and we would love to run away with you. I'm sure. Key! Let's go in here. Oopsies, unlock. Yes, unlock. Oh, we need the key out. <laughs> Let's do that. Oh, we need to actually be touching it and everything. Very involved. Very involved. Uh, let's see if we can see in here before talking to whoever it is. Hello, buddy. Huh? Who are you? Seeing as how you made it in here, I take it you got the better of that guard. But more importantly, what are you doing in around here in the first place? Huh? Building your own city, are you? And you're looking for a certain blacksmith to help you out? Then you're in luck, lass. If you want a blacksmith, you've come to the right place. I'm Magnus, heir of the legendary Magog. But let's save the proper introductions for later, eh? You can tell me about the town of yours when you're there. Yay! What are you, what are you doing? What is, oh. All right, Magnus, let's get out of here. What, what is this, do we want this? Ah, uh, this is from the other place, too, actually. Hmm, <laughs> little animations. Okay. Um, there's copper here. We'll take it quick. Oh, no, we can't. We don't have... We don't have a hammer. We'll leave it for now. That's Chimera back, actually. <laughs> Safe and sound. Court, did you build this whole place yourself? No doubt about it, then. You're that girl they're always telling stories about, the legendary builder. If you don't mind, I'll make myself at home. I ain't nesting special, but I'll help you whatever way I can. We need you to help us with this shovel, actually, Magnus. There's just one thing that bothers me. This land you're building on. This is where the old fortress city of Cantlin used to be, isn't it? Do you think it's true what they say? That the place was pounded into the ground by a giant golem? What's that? The golem didn't destroy Cantlin, it protected the place? Well, it all happened hundreds of years ago now, so I suppose we'll never know what really happened. But the stories I've heard was passed down by the survivors themselves. I can't see why they'd lie about a thing like that. Anyway, seeing as how you're the legendary builder, and I'm the descendant of the legendary blacksmith, I should probably teach you the secrets of making iron arms, like what my father taught me, and his father taught him. Of course, you'll need plenty of good iron to get started. Already ahead of you, Magnus. If you're running low, the Damdara Desert's full of this stuff. Ooh, broadsword. Sledgehammer! And iron armor. We'll take all that. And a shield. Do you have anything to say? Oh, Pippa's got something. Rolo's got something. Everybody's got something. Buy my, ba my bad back. You've done it again, Robo. You've brought the blacksmith back to Cantlin. What's that? You met a monster that looked just like Pippa? And she was guarding the Ma Magnus's cell? Hmm. Then it's just as I feared. The monsters are watching our every move. How else could they have known about Pippa and myself? No doubt they captured Magnus expressly to lure us into the trap. 
These fiends are not to be underestimated. We must redouble our defenses. But before that, good work, Robo. If you're not already done so, I recommend you speak with Magnus and learn from him everything that you can. Nice. Probably going into my chest because I don't have spot. Yep. Uh, let's see what... Mm, let's see what Rolo has to say. Robo, I've been talking with Sheridan, our resident traveler-in-chief. He tells me that the land from which you rescued Magnus was once known as Damdera. He also tells that a vast wealth of treasure is hidden within the Great Pyramid that stands there now. The Cantlin Chronicle mentions ancient fire-breathing statues called Evil Idols, and Sheridan assumes, assures me they form part of the monster's horde. If we had those statues, we could build an even stronger stockade with which to defend our town. So go, Robo, for the sake of our town and its continued safety. Travel to Demdera, enter its pyramid, and return with two evil idols. But make sure you are well prepared. It is said that the evil idols are nigh indestructible. You must take the strongest weapon you can find if you mean to d dislodge them. Awesome. We actually need to take, um... Look at all my doors. I am not a... I might not be an architect, I can tell you that. Wow, Robo, now that you've got that new teleportal, you can go to a whole new island. You know, I've been doing a lot of cooking lately. I'm itching to try out some of the new recipes I've dreamed up. For example, I thought I could stuff some chimera beak with plumberries and grasshoppers, and then boil them up in a mixture of earth and blue goo. But when I told Rolo my idea, he said he'd die if he had to eat something like that. So Robo, I was wondering if you could show me one of the new recipes you've invented. Something that tastes really... Re that tastes really tasty, but doesn't make you die. I know you're really busy doing things for Rolo and everyone else, but if you don't mind... But I don't mind, so... So I don't mind if you can't help me straight away. No, actually, Pippi, we will totally do that. I think, though, now I can build... A fruit salad? I think that's what I want. I think. Salad plate, that's what I want. Yeah, salad plate. Awesome. And I shall put the salad plate. No, I don't want to sit. On here. Take out. Oopsies. Swap. Put away, put away, put away, put away, put away, put away, put away. Nah, we'll keep that out. Alright. Yay! Awesome. What have they started making for me? Good. Stuff. Stuff I can eat. Okay. One last thing. What do I want to do? I want to make something for Pippa, I think. That'll be a good one. Bunnicorn steak. There we go. Yeah, let's do that. Bunnicorn steak. I think that's what we need to give Pippa. What she want? Hi, Robo. Uh, I was talking to Sheridan about cooking the other day. He knows a lot about these kinds of things. He said that there's a place called Demdera on the other side of the Red Teleporta where a super, a super famous chef used to live. I bet if you found him, he could teach you all kinds of amazing recipes. The kind of food I want to make is something that doesn't just fill you up, but makes you feel full of energy, too. The best way would probably be to make something really filling and then put a bit of... a big bit of meal, meat inside. If you've got the time, Robo, could you try to come up with something like that and make it for me? Alright, so we have to find the chef first. I think that's... Ah, oh, we are we are running low on beds. How many people do we even have? One, two, three, four. What is that? Five? I can't even count. Let's make some more beds, though, because I think we need them. Oh, 
we don't have more grassy leaves. I think if we put one more in here, it'll make us a gr grungy grotto or something. Uh, maybe, maybe we have to put one more normal. Oh, look, the tree is growing. That's our tree that we planted. And the other tree. Cool. We need a couple more. I can't find any now of those grasses. There we go. We'll better make a few beds just in case. That is so cute. I love that place. Much better than my silly looking hotel area. Um, let's draw a mattress. Alright, that should be good. We'll probably take this one away and put two here. Oh, of course. I don't have another one. I wonder if we need to put a pot down. Maybe? Maybe a pot? Have you made any pots for us? Ooh, you've made some sconces though. Ooh, a plant pot. Wow. And a stone window. Ah, oh, neato. We'll put that in here. And probably have to put a plant in it at some point. Straw mattress, I think. Ah, we totally need a pot. Totally. Let's do that. Maybe it's like some kind of latrine or something like that. You go in the corner. Hmm. Maybe not, though. Oh, I know what we need. An in sign. And then we will say adieu for now. In sign. There we go. Straw mattresses, six in signs, and a light source. One, two. How many do I have? Five, six, seven. There's seven in there. Hello, everyone. Yes, it is very gorgeous, isn't it? Not really, though. Let's sleep. A light shines in the darkness. Images begin to form in Robo's mind. Sigh. Would that I might pass all the remaining days of my life alone with my lo beloved. Yet the knowledge that a monster might rob us of the simple joy at any moment waitens heavenly upon my mind. But all shall be well when thou defeatest the dragon lord. Godspeed you, brave, brave adventurer. Sigh, to be alone with my beloved is to forget all that threatens the world. Threateneth. Th but alas, I cannot put our plight entirely from my thoughts. For my lover informs me that, were our world to be destroyed, our love too must surely perish. And yet, I know in my heart that we shall soon be redeemed from this peril, for thou art the scion of Ed Erdrich, hero of legend. When dark doth spread across the land, light shall return by Erdrich's hand. That was my dear departed grandsire's favorite phase. O oh, almighty goddess, we pray that the ancient teachings hold true. May thy light shine upon brave such and such as such as such as quest. It seemed like a memory of something that happened long ago, but whether it was her own memory or somebody else's, Robo can't remember.
Alright, my lovelies. For now, I'm gonna say goodbye. We're gonna save and continue this on next time. Because we're out of time. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, leave some comments, let me know what you think, and if I should be doing anything different with my house, and we will continue this next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.